Now I'd like to introduce you to the concept of meridian tapping. It's actually an ancient concept that's been around for thousands of years and it's helped people let go of old mental programming, number one, at the subconscious level, at the root level, and number two, help us reprogram our minds so that we can start thinking in terms of potential and possibility rather than limitation. <laughs> You know, before most of us realized that the subconscious mind has so much power that it holds the templates for the results in our lives, would often start looking outside ourselves for fulfillment. And the classic example is getting a divorce and looking to someone new to fulfill all our needs rather than looking uh, internally at our map and seeing what our needs are and making changes there and then creating the ideal person that matches it like attracting like. And meridian tapping works a little bit like unkinking a hose. If you turn on a hose at full power and it's got a kink in it, that's an equivalent analogy to a blocked meridian point on your body or in your body. And what tapping does is start to pulse energy through the line and open up the blockage so that free-flowing energy can occur. And that's, in ch traditional Chinese medicine, that's, that's the crux of good health, free-flowing energy system in our bodies. So here are a couple of things you need to know before we start. There's a scale we use from 0 to 10 of emotional intensity on the issue that's bothering you. 0 is no intensity at all and 10 is maximum. So there's a technique I'd like to show you that my EFT master Lindsay Kenny taught me and between the numbers of 10 and 8 is when we're going to be tapping out all our frustration. Let your subconscious mind get it out. All those things you've wanted to say that are stuck in there, bottled up, get them out. All the pain and the anguish or the sadness, bleh, just get it out of your system. And then between a 7 and a 4, you'll start to feel lighter. And this is an opportunity for us to start playing with the subconscious mind. Uh, maybe I can let this, this old pattern go, this old pain go. Oh, uh, no, I can't. Yes, I can. No, I can't, <laughs> etc. And then down between a three and a zero is where you can start making choice statements, choosing your new pattern that you'd like to have in your life. And it's very freeing. I think you'll really enjoy it. And then down at the level of zero where you're neutral about the old um, memory is where you can start imprinting the new juicy healthy vibrant experiences that you'd like to have in your life I am and I have statements in the positive present tense let me show you the meridian tapping points also take a look at the chart I've included in this program starting with the karate chop point it's about half an inch down from the outside of the little finger. If you bend your palm, see that line that goes across? It's right at the end of that line. And we use the karate chop points like this for the reversal and like this for the setup, which I'll explain in a minute. And the points on the head and the torso are between the eyebrows the inside edge of the eyebrow, outside of the eye, underneath the eye, underneath the pupil on the cheekbone, underneath the nose, on the chin, and then two points underneath the inside of the collarbones. Then two ways to do the points that are under the armpit, about four inches down from the armpit, chicken winging out or crossing your hands in front of you like this. Two more points underneath the chest or the breast on the torso and then three points on the inside of the wrist 
just where the base of the palm connects to the lower arm. Inside, middle, and outer. Inside, middle, and outer. And this is the best way to tap these points. And finally, with one or both hands on the top of the head. So notice I'm tapping about five to seven times per point, maybe a little more. Um, about medium pressure, but you do what's right for you. And also know that there are meridian endpoints in the tips of your fingers. So you're, the more fingers you can get into each point, the more bang for your buck, so to speak. Here's an overview of the most important points on the head and torso and wrist. Just look them over for a second and ignore the ones that we're not speaking about. They're more advanced. And just to remind you, once you've seen this video a few times, there's an audio that goes along with it. And I often listen to the audios at night on my MP3 player just because uh, it's more convenient and I get to use that early morning or late at night quiet time that's kind of magical to its full advantage. Let me explain a couple of unique features to the type of meridian tapping that I teach. One is called the reversal and you use the two karate chop points together and it helps address the subconscious mind's desire to stay the way it is. It doesn't want to change. It's used to this old pattern in some way it was it felt safe and so what we're going to do is speak to it directly by saying something like this and we'll use the example of money because that's uh, a big topic for a lot of people. Even though I don't want to let go of my old programming around money, I deeply love and accept myself. Even though I don't want to let go of my old programming around money, it's what I know. I deeply love and accept myself. Even though I can't let go of my old programming around money, it's what my family taught me. I deeply love and forgive myself. So generally, we say these uh, phrases three times. And then there's the setup. Your dominant fingers on your other karate chop point. Acknowledging that you have this issue with money or any other topic. So it sounds like this. Even though I have this problem with money, I overspend. I deeply love and accept myself. Even though I can never get money under control, I deeply love and accept myself. Even though money scares me that there isn't enough, I deeply love and accept myself. Good. And then we would go through the points on the head and the torso with the, the summary phrase like this. All my fear that there isn't enough money. There isn't enough money and it scares me. There isn't enough money for me. For other people, yes, but not for me. I, I don't even like to look at my bills. It scares me. Oh, you may find you exhale um, or yawn. That's old energy. <sighs> Leaving your body. <laughs> oh, this money problem. I've had it for a long time. And I hate it. It makes me really mad. Why can't I get money under control? Really makes me upset. And that's, so that's one round of tapping using the reminder phrase, we call it. Here are some other ideas for the reminder phrases. You know the way the subconscious mind communicates in pictures, often the way we receive dreams? Start paying attention to how your body is communicating with you. For example, if you're anxious around money, a lot of people feel it as butterflies in their stomach or perhaps a tightness in the chest and think, you know, or ask, does it have a color? Is it red? Is it uh, fiery yellow? Start listening. And often textures like rough like sandpaper or smooth as silk 
can be communications from the subconscious mind. So start incorporating that into your tapping as well. So let's do a mini session on money. So you can see the whole process in its entirety. And remember, there's a personalized tapping video for you as well, so you can fill in the blanks and really customize your experience. So let's start with the reversal. And remember, this is addressing the subconscious minds not wanting to change. Remember the karate chop points? Tap them together. And repeat after me. Even though I have this anxiety around money, I deeply love and accept myself. Even though I have this panic around money, I'd like to be able to forgive myself. Even though I have this fear around money, I don't think I can let it go. But I do deeply honor myself for trying to change this. Good. And now the setup. Take your dominant hand and tap on the opposite hand's karate chop point. And this is where you acknowledge that you have this issue. Okay, good. Even though I have this anxiety around money, I deeply love and accept myself. Even though I have this fear that this will never change, I'll always be in a panic around money, I deeply love and accept myself. Even though I have this fear that things will never change, I deeply love and accept myself. Excellent. Good. Now we'll move on to the reminder phrases. Starting between the eyebrows, my anxiety around money. My anxiety around money, I've had it forever. Oh, I just don't think this is ever going to change. I don't even know if tapping's going to work. Seems kind of weird. My parents had anxiety around money, so of course I do. I can never pay all my bills. I'm adding up debt. And I can't sleep at night. Tapping under the chest. It, it, it makes me break out in a sweat. I have a lot of fear around money. Good. And we'll do that a few more times. And here are some more common uh, feelings people have around money. This tightness in my throat gives me a lot of anxiety. Butterflies in my stomach when I look at my bills. The economy is bad. There is a lot of competition. I don't know about my job, if I'm going to be able to keep it. Or I've been out of a job for a while and it scares me. How am I going to support myself? All my anxiety around money. All the debt I've incurred. I don't see a way out. Oh, it makes me so anxious. This knot in my stomach. Feels like I'll never get out of this. I don't know what to do. It scares me. All this fear about money in the future. How am I going to take care of my family? So much pressure on me to perform. I can't sleep at night. I'm so worried about it. Good. Just let it out. Breathe it out. Yawn it out. Shake it out. In Qigong, you can shake out old energy from your fingertips. And just pause the video. If you have more to release, just 
just tap on what you're feeling and get it out. All your frustration and anger and fear, just get it out. Good. And make a note of the number. Often it's come down, but if it hasn't, it can go up. If you think, start thinking about another issue, um, how much pain in our health issues it's causing you, those are um, secondary. So we're trying to stay on one topic and bring it down from a 10 to a 0. And just make note where it is right now. Good. Good. So when your number reaches a 7, then we can move on to starting to let go of some of this anxiety. And let's begin. Even though I still have some anxiety around money, I'm starting to feel lighter. Maybe a little bit hopeful. I don't know if I can really let this go though, this anxiety. I've had it for years. I have to be able to let go of my anxiety to be successful. I'd love to have money come easily, but it's just too ingrained a habit. I do feel a little bit lighter though. I do feel a little bit hopeful. I don't know if I can let it go. I don't think it's possible. Yes, I can. No. No, I can't. There's too much fear ingrained in me. And the news is right. The economy's bad. But some people are successful. How do they do that? Maybe they have different programming. And that's what I want for me. I want better programming around money. I'd like to be able to have money come with ease. Whew, what if I don't deserve it? What if that's my programming? I have to work hard to have money. That's the way it is in my family. Some people don't think they have to work hard. They just love what they do and they serve people well. That's the way I want to be. I can let go of this old programming. I'm doing it right now. I'm doing it at the core level. Ah, oh, I can breathe more easily. What if money can come easily to me? I'd like that to be the case. I intend for this to be the case. I can let go of my old programming around money. I'm tapping it out of me now. I feel lighter around money now. I feel more hopeful. I desire to have money come easily. It's my birthright. I choose to be lighter around money. I choose to have new insights come to me from source about money and how I can serve. This feels really good. Excellent. Keep tapping in that way until your number comes down to a three. Good. Let's keep going with choice statements. I choose to feel prosperous. I choose to feel free around money. I appreciate my talents. I attract the right opportunities. I deserve to be well paid because I'm good at what I do. I choose to have success come easily. I choose to feel fulfilled. I choose to have money come easily. And I choose to feel at peace with money. Excellent. Okay, now you've done all the work to get to the place where you're at a zero. And this is the place of most power. This is where you can start ingraining I am and I have programming into your subconscious. Let's get started. I have enough money. I feel safe and secure around money. I appreciate all the abundance coming my way. I am valuable. People want my services. I accept prosperity in my life now. I deserve financial security. 
I attract the right business opportunities into my life. I accept my success. I love knowing things work out for me. I feel grateful for my financial success. Let's repeat those. I have enough money in my life. I feel secure and safe around money. I love all the abundance that's mine. I am valuable. People want what I have. They love my service. I accept prosperity in my life now. I deserve financial success. I attract the right business opportunities. And I love knowing things work out for me. Excellent. And that's basic meridian tapping. I'm so excited for you, though, to get to the personalized tapping session because that's where you can fill in the blanks, pull on your unique memories, get to the core of your mental programming and be done with it in combination with Qigong. These are the two most powerful tools I know. So let me know how it goes for you. I'm excited to hear and I wish you well.